Hello and welcome to my garden where I have received yet another package. I'm going to get it. It's a big one and it sounds quite promising. It says brothers on it and I think this is uh, some cider. So. Hey, look at this. Brothers Marshmallow Cider. Does it say it on there? It says it on the front as well. Look at that. Um, this is Somerset Cider. It is Marshmallow English Cider. And um, well, I don't know, because I don't, I don't drink a lot of cider, so this is going to be quite a new experience. Um, I've had a few ciders before. I prefer sweeter, fruitier ones. So this one, given the fact that it looks like it actually has flumps on the front, uh, suggests we're off to a strong start. And what better way to test out cider than by trying to turn it into ice lollies? Because um, it's one day, the British summer has finally arrived. The weekend of the British Grand Prix, I'm wearing short sleeves, I'm in my shorts, and um, it's sunny, hence why we're also out in the garden. Um, so, why not make it into ice lollies? It seemed like the logical thing to do. So, um, we'll have a little time lapse of trying to fill some ice lolly trays with the cider. Uh, we'll slap them in the freezer and we'll come back in a few hours' time. And uh, I'll put a few in the fridge as well so we can try them as God intended. Right. Cut to the time lapse. Okay, it has been, what time did we put those in? About 10 o'clock, so 11 hours. And it's been a busy day. I've filmed Formula Food. In the meantime, we've had Formula Food, eaten Formula Food, very good. Suggest you go and watch that, which might be in a corner. I'm gonna say that one which I think is going to be the right one in post-production. So go to that corner there, there'll be a thing more that will take you to Formula Food, where we've been cooking for the British Grand Prix. But this video isn't about that. This isn't about Formula Food for the British Grand Prix. I'll say it one more time. It is about the Brothers Marshmallow Cider, which um, I've had a hot day. I've been off hiking around the Bedfordshire countryside, and what I could really do with is a Somerset Cider and a plane going overhead. We'll just hope that doesn't sharpen the edit, it's going quite fast. Anyway, a, oh yes, it's been a hot day, I've been hiking, I'm thirsty, I could do with something to drink, and conveniently, just off camera, I have that exact thing. A bottle of the Brothers Marshmallow Cider. And a glass with some ice in it. Big ice cubes as well, we have a thing that makes big ice balls. Um, Yes. Time to find out what it tastes like. This has been sitting in the fridge all day, so it's nice and cold, ready to be refreshing, if I can remember which part of my pen I is bottling. So. Ooh, it smells good. It smells very smooth, actually, very very vanilla -y. I love the fact that the bottle, I said this earlier when I looked at the box as well, it has sort of like a flump running across it which has that very strong vanilla smell. That's very accurately replicated here. I've said previously I'm not a big cider drinker. I don't usually go for ciders. I don't, don't really go for the sort of dry apple-y taste of ciders. This smells different. It smells promising and it looks different as well. It's got a sort of pinkish hue. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera. In the Bedfordshire Sunset Light. But it is cold, it is fizzy, it overwhelming smell of vanilla with a sort of gentle undertone of strawberry almost. How does it taste? That is a real question. Oh. That is magnificent. It's sweet without being sickly, it's refreshing, it's palatable, it is crisp. The first taste is very vanilla, almost like a sort of cream soda. But it follows through with this gentle fruitiness from the strawberry. It is... It's absolutely fantastic, there's no dry harshness to it, there's no bitterness to it. 
it's dangerously quaffable, I think is the exact quote I would use. I mean, it is 4%, so while it's not weak, it's not hyper strong either. That is just... That is exceptional. That This could be the thing that gets me hooked on ciders. This, which will come out from behind my table. This is a very good cider. Cheers. No, 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 wait, wait. We put some in the freezer, we made ice lollies. Hold that thought. As ever with most of the sort of cookery things that appear on my channel, I haven't tried this. I don't know if this is going to work at all. Obviously, um, alcohol has a lower freezing point than water. It takes a lot less kinetic energy to make it a solid. So I don't know if my freezer's been cold enough to make these frozen. They feel frozen. Take the top off. It looks frozen. I mean, admittedly, my freezer drawers aren't very neatly packed, so this is obviously sat quite unlevel. There's like a sort of thick bit at the top end and a thin bit at the other end, but let's see how we go. The little silicon moulds, it pops out of there quite well, and the stick it's on just comes out. I'll probably include the link to these in the bio because that worked fantastic. That worked a lot easier than I was thinking. This isn't a promotional video for these, but these just happen to be fantastic. Um, so there we have it. Our brother's marshmallow English cider ice lolly. Look at that. Um, question is, does it taste good when it's an ice lolly? So you know what it tastes like liquid form? Let's try a different state of matter. But still fantastic. If anything, better. It's colder, more refreshing. Exactly what you need on a warm Friday evening. It's dangerously Moorish because you have to remember this is a 4% ice lolly. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is my top tip for the summer 2021. Get yourself vaccinated, get yourself to the shops, get yourself a case of Brothers Marshmallow Cider, get some freezable ice lolly shape make a thing more what's it and make ice lollies with it by gum these are fantastic cheers